There we go guys. Three meals, ground beef burger patties, rice, a little bit of, little bit of butter, and then underneath we have some bacon. Two slices of bacon in each container. Delicious. And now I'm gonna drink my vitamins. I have some D vitamin and some B vitamin. And then this is just a multivitamin along with two scoops of, two scoops of creatine. Oh and yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> All right, well, good morning, guys. Today, it is competition day. It is the competition Norderlandsjakin, or the northern big man, the northern troll, northern giant. Just decided last Sunday to compete, and it, it is a Saturday today, and it's exciting, guys. It's really exciting. Lots of strong guys gonna be there. I'm just having breakfast now, but I'm gonna be driving up there with Eithor Melstedt, Eithor Ingolfsson Melstedt. He's gonna come here and pick me up around 8. It is now 6.52, so I need to finish this meal and need to take a shower, get ready. Everything's packed already, so yeah, it's exciting, guys. I'm gonna be showing you all of my goes at the events, how I do. I can't film everyone because, you know, I think they're also filming a TV, sh TV show and, you know, I can't just post the whole everything that happens on the show, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. Competition day, wait. Alright, 146.3 kilograms. Alright, here's all my stuff, all my food over there in the cooler, and we are right on time. Alright guys, we're here. We're about to do some log lift for Max. We'll see how it goes. This looks beautiful though. Þá er það næstur, það er Theodór. Eins og þið sjáið er að hann ekkert smámenni, þessi maður. Hann er 208 cm á hæð. Það er oft mjög skíjað hjá honum. Gefur ekki merki niður fyrir þetta stóðin stöður. Þú veist það. Hann er aðeins 26 ára gamall. Æft í 3 ár. Þetta var mjög snýrtur. Það er að miður. Flott lyfta, Teddy. Þá hækkum við í 100 kilo fyrir þá sem vilja taka á því. Koma, Teddy. Þetta er þetta. Þetta Au! Au! Ja! Ist! 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 Það er bara eins og hann, þegar það er bara eins og hann. Já, já, já. Þetta var flott lista hjá þetta. Heru, þá þingjum við 120 og nú hef ég grunum að menn farið að... Það er þetta... Grimmur. Hangt inn í keppninni, takk þetta. Kom að! Gefðu þér tíma. Grimmur! Anta með nefinu, anta með nefinu. Anta með nefinu. Koma tætti. Anta með nefinu. 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 Anta með nef
So, made 110, 120 failed. I, I've done 120 in, uh, in the gym. I haven't trained log in nine months, so I'm happy with this, you know, regarding that I haven't trained in nine months or so. So, 110, I'll take it, whatever. 120 almost. It's, it's fun. I'm happy. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come <laughs> Next up we have yoke, 340 kilograms for 15 meters. Kilogram yoke done. I I was at the bottom. I only got 8.8 .8 meters while well, most of the other guys finished. So, oh well, I haven't trained it as well. So that's just the way it is. I'm pretty disappointed in myself, but you know, gotta keep going. I'm gonna film my ever. Come 
Kontrovertje. Kom op, kom op, kom op. Hey, nee, kom op. Kom op, 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 kom no, I don't give <laughs> 240 kilograms on the BK deadlift. It's called the BK deadlift because of the sponsor. It's BK chicken. <laughs> so, yeah, happy with that, I guess. I was hoping to get 260, but you know, I'll take 240. Um, I've never been able to lift this in competition. I never, you know, the starting weight. So, I'm really happy to be able to finally do a starting weight on the deadlift. So, that's nice. Det bara ut i lokal. Ja. Komma Oskar Pietur Hafsteinsson. Ja. Kom Oskar. Ja. Ja ja. Oskar. Fyrtio. Ja, ja. Kom maar zo. Kom maar. Ja. 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 And now we are going for farmer's walk. 120 kilograms. Come on, Stati. Come on, Stati. Come Hey, <laughs> 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 Sexy score. All right, guys, what a day. 
So this is where I'm sleeping. Tonight we're in some school in Husavik where you know the movie for the Eurovision, Eurovision Song Contest movie was filmed, Husavik. So yeah, we're two athletes and the guys helping over the competition, referees and stuff, were staying all in this school. We have a whole gymnasium to ourselves where you can pick and choose where we sleep. And I chose this room because there's a bathroom here as well. So it's nice. It's okay. It's not a hotel, but you know, it's fine. I'm happy with my perform I'm happy with my performance. I'm you know, I mean I'm I'm enjoying myself, I'm having home, which is the ultimately, you know, the reason why I decided to compete. You know, of course I'm very critical of myself. I wanna do better, I wanna do, you know, X amount, I wanna do this, you know, but you know, we just gotta keep working hard in the gym in the wintertime and you know, prepare for next summer. You know, that's the only thing I really have to do. So tomorrow we have keck toss or just a toss, sandbag toss, and then a stone carry for distance. So that's gonna be interesting. It's 150 kilograms, I believe, the stone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm tired. Good night. Good morning, guys. I'm back. This is where we slept in this building over there. Good morning. <laughs> That's a Mikatla Rot, yeah, okay. So we're about to go to breakfast. And I can't wait. And then there's only two events left. So let's get this day started. We have made it to Reivarhub. It's a god awful place that everybody seems to have a bad opinion of. <laughs> because it's so ugly. All the houses are falling down. All the houses look really ugly and rusty and yeah, it's the only thing people talk about this town is how ugly it looks. <laughs> but then there's this thing on top here, which is like on like Asgardian, I don't know, some sort of monument for ice here or something. Let's see. We're about to do a toss here, some sort of keg toss or some sort of sand pack throw something. So we'll see. I'll see ya. All kinds of tall stone, stone structures. <laughs> I got <gotcha>. you. I got <gotcha>. you. <laughs>
Fifth place in that event. Really happy with that. I think I did 24 kilograms in 33 seconds or something like that. So that was pretty cool. He was in second place. So that's awesome. One event left, stone carry. So that was the sister stone of the Husevel stone. It's from the same area, it's just about 36 kilograms lighter. It's 150 kilograms. I think I got it. I don't know how much, but you know, I'm pretty disappointed in myself. But you know, I'm just I'm just not strong enough, not yet. I need to put in work in the winter for the next summer and yeah, pleasure to watch the other guys do so well. I think I was uh, th third last, if that's if that's how you say it, eighth eighth place in this event. We'll see how the final results are. <laughs> Eighth place, guys. It's pretty cool. I'm happy with it. I think I got up 5,000 kronas, some food coupons, and another food, co food coupon. So, it's cool. <laughs> Well, I'm home guys. Man, this was fun. This competition, it was... In hindsight, it was a lot of fun. I'm really glad. I'm really glad I decided to do it. And yeah, I had so much fun, laughed so much. Yeah, and, you know, it was fun to test myself what I could do with no preparation. Of course, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. You know, I always want to do better. I always critique myself extra much, you know. Of course, I'm unhappy if I don't think I perform well. But, you know, it was a lot of fun, learning experience, competition experience. Massive congratulations to Eithor. He has won every competition this summer except for Iceland's Strongest Man, which after one he was in second place. He's got a massive future ahead of him. You know, I drove with him and Gudmundur, you know, all the, all the way. 
all the way between all the places. You know, it was a lot of fun. Massive congratulations to him, and also massive congratulations to Stefan Karl. He's been improving so much, and yeah, the future is bright for him. You know, it just yeah, he's been in second place now behind the Eithor, you know, in most competitions, and it was yeah, just awesome to see how he's doing. And also congratulations to Sefus Foster, who was in third place. He competed two weeks ago, didn't do so well. His body was working against him. You know, he had some. He had some pains and stuff, but this competition was whole uh, whole other man. He was just, he's so fast, lost about 30 kilograms, I believe, and he's looking a lot better. Yeah, congratulations to all the other guys. You know, it was awesome to compete against you, and yeah, it was... So, the only thing left for me now to do is to start training for the next summer. In Iceland, all the strongman competitions are in the summer. And then we have some powerlifting competitions in the winter. I don't know if I'll compete in those, maybe. But yeah, that's. I know what I have to do. You know, my biggest weakness is my static strength. I need to work on that. Go on more powerlifting programs to improve everything. And I hope. You know, I've always had these setbacks in these three years that I've been training. You know, first it was my back that took a year out for me to re rehabilitate. Then when I was just getting back. I had some financial trouble, I had to stop training, stop eating, everything, lost about 30 kilograms. And now I'm back where I'm almost about to, you know, PR on my lifts. And I hope nothing, I hope life doesn't get in the way, nothing happens, no setbacks, no injury, no nothing. I'm really hoping that so I can come back next summer just fully prepared, fully, you know, ready for action and a lot stronger. So, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna help me grow my channel and support me. It really mean a lot. And like the video, share it, comment, whatever you wanna comment, I will reply to you. So, love you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you later.